Reading is one of the essential skills that you can teach your child, and this skill only grows better with practice. Research shows that reading to children every day has a significant positive effect on their reading skills and cognitive skills such as literacy, mathematics, and higher order thinking. They also tend to have higher scores on standardized testing, and these differences in reading and cognitive skills are not only related to your child's, is not related at all to your child's background or your home environment, but is a direct result of how frequently you read to your child or how frequently the child begins to read in school. Welcome to Ruth Straight Talk, a channel designed to help you, your students and your children live fuller lives, become lifelong learners, and grow into the awesome human beings you were designed to be. I'm Cynthia Ruth. In this video, I will share with you several strategies to help you encourage your child to become better, more avid readers. Also, don't miss my bonus tips on how to help your child at the end of this video. So let's get right to it. So how do you get your child to read more? Number one, engage his imagination. Young children are avid learners and books will engage his imagination and his natural curiosity. So make reading a fun activity. Even children who are energetic and rambunctious will enjoy reading books about their favorite pastimes. Graphic novels, and audiobooks can also capture their attention, and a picture is indeed worth a thousand words. Young children appreciate vibrant colored illustrations with lots of characterizations. And if they're old enough, allow them to choose the books that you would like them to read. Number two, set an example. Set an example of reading. Parents are your child's first teachers and they learn more from you than what you say. If you like to relax with a good book, it sends them a message that reading is enjoyable. If you look up information in a recipe book or a book on gardening, your children will learn that books have useful information. Through your voice, your child learns the different words and sounds which will help them with speech and reading. Listening to you read also helps them with their memory, concentration, and comprehension. Number three, read to your child. Reading a book to your child is a wonderful bonding experience for both of you, and it is also educational. Pick a time to read that suits your routine. Reading a book does not have to be done at bedtime. Keep early story times short and keep them a part of your bedtime rituals. Enjoy the illustrations together. Discuss what is taking place in the picture or what he thinks might happen next in the story. Make up your own rhyme or unrhyming words by reading rhyming picture books together. The length of time that you spend reading will be determined by the age of the child. As you read, make sure there are plenty of variations in your voice, diff different characters, use different voice levels and events. The sillier you can make your voice, the better. Change the pace of your voice depending on what's happening in the book. For example, if the character is sleepy, you can speak in a slower, sleepy voice. But if the character is in a hurry, talk fast. Build that excitement in your child. Reading to your child does not always have to involve a book. In fact, you could make most of your reading by reading signs on the street, posters, or food packets. You can find opportunities to read your, to your child everywhere you go. 
Number four, let your child read to you. When your child reads to you, congratulate him on how well he's doing. When he reads to you, he is following your example. You have given him in sharing the books that he enjoys. It also gives you an opportunity to gently help with words that he may not know or understand. You can even use the reading time to discuss life events such as bullying or staying safe or stranger danger. For longer books, you can take turns reading. Use book reading to really interact with your child. Ask open-ended questions. What do you think is going to happen next? Who is bigger, the cat or the mouse? Why do you think the cat is frowning? And what do you think is going to happen next? Or can you make up your own ending to that story? This can be a truly enjoyable time of sharing. Number five, look for good comic books, graphic novels, and audio books. Children who study, struggle through a page of words sometimes enjoy reading stories that are mostly pictures, comic books, and graphic novels. Include dialogue and descriptions of what's going on in the story. Audiobooks can build a love for good stories and teach the correct way to pronounce words. If possible, allow the child to use a written text to follow along with the audiobook. Your bonus tip, get him a library membership. Libraries give your child access to a wide range of books. Research proves that regular access to books make you a better reader. Select books for you to read aloud and for your child to read at his leisure. Research proves that children that attend library regularly read better than their peers. Also, children that attend preschool story hour at the libraries enter school with a greater pre-reading skills and literacy skills needed to succeed in school than their peers who didn't visit the library regularly. One benefit of going to the library is that it is an environment that promotes the love of reading. Kids get excited about reading when they select their own books. As soon as your child is old enough, get him his own library membership. Introduce him to the librarian and let him know that she is there to help him to find the books that he would like. Also, let him know about returning books on time, about deadlines and why deadlines to return books are important. So there you have it, several tips to help you and your child read more. If this video has helped you, please leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Also, if you have a story, a tip, a strategy, a question, or just some advice that you would like me to share with my audiences, please also leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Click on these videos above for more awesome information on education and parenting. As always, thank you so much for visiting with us at RuthStraightTalk.com. As we have learned in the past, happy learning and until next time, goodbye.